Hi, welcome to my demo presentation uh, about uh, RF power transmission energy harvesting for self-sustaining miniaturized sensor nodes. So let's first get to the motivation for this work. Smart things are taking over the world and devices, sensors are continuously increasing in complexity and increasing in functionality. But at the same time, they meet uh, big challenges. The size of batteries is, and, the, and the energy of batteries is limited by the design size of the device, for instance. Of course, the energy consumption can be reduced by using intelligent strategies such as duty cycling or such as smart wake-ups or other things that I imagine will be heavily featured in, uh, in these demos. But there is also another possibility and it is to harvest energy. And RF is one energy source that can be controlled and can be designed for. So it, it can enable the permanent powering of devices with a known energy budget. That way the battery can be reduced or even eliminated while maintaining the maximum functionality for these devices. So let's get to these designable parameters. What can we actually control? Of course, we can control the power level, which is just restricted by regulations. We can control this, uh, the, the frequency. We can control the transmitting and receiving antenna gain and sizes. Uh, but we can also control the number of transmitters by and increasing that way the diversity and also control the distance that the, the uh, transmitters and receivers are placed from each other in this case in a static environment so starting from these constraints what is the actual power that we can transmit in the real world well up to two meters of distance um, using a 3 watt transmitter and assuming well-aligned antennas, um, we can get up to 2 milliwatts of power at the antenna uh, receiver's antenna output. Of course, these 2 milliwatts we cannot use fully. We have to first uh, transform it to a, a DC current that our device can actually use. And this work concerns itself mainly with how this transformation is occurring. Now, of course, practice is, is different in theory. And in this case, we can see what are the actual real life measurements for uh, commercial antennas. And from this slide, we can see that if we get to very small integrated uh, antennas that have, in this case, a PCB error of just seven centimeters squared, the received power is uh, very poor and, and low. So the goal for our actual use of rectification circuits in real life is to optimize the efficiency for these low uh, received powers because in most applications, the um, power will be in the range of minus three to three dBm and not much higher than that. Now we come to the most important part of the demo, which is the circuit that we have been actually designed and compared and evaluated. And as you can see, there are a lot of uh, different advantages and disadvantages from different design approaches. So for instance, the distributed system is extremely good at uh, uh, low power. So having an uh, efficiency of 57% as minus, at minus 10 dBm of received power, which allows uh, energy harvesting systems to work either with very small antennas or at great distance while other designs have a uh, very good efficiency at uh, more medium amounts of powers. But the best way to see how a uh, design is actually performing is to compare it with a real life uh, example of a product that already exists. A good point to start for comparison is to a commercial device such as the Parkas P110B. And it is designed to harvest at 950 megas, just like the uh, circuits realized as part of this demo. And the me maximum measured efficiency for uh, the realized devices is much higher at 0 dBm than the commercial one. So one of the realized designs have a, has an efficiency that is 40% higher than the, the commercial device. As 
the people that are in uh, in person will be able to see the efficiency also of these uh, devices in in real life scenario is very high so up to multiple meters um, of distance and uh, energy can be transmitted to light up an led independently of um, objects in the way so this is all for my presentation and i hope to see as many people as possible in the demo um, in the real life demo